So I went to the summer camp in the summer of 2017 and 2018. I've made some videos already talking about my time there at the summer camp, but it was my first year at this camp, right? And during our station time, which is when we would go to all these stations and areas over the camp with our cabin group, and during our second station, I had to use the bathroom. And the closest bathroom to me and the easiest one to use was the one that was in the cafeteria slash meeting building. It was this giant red building, kind of like a barn. But I told my, my cabin counselor that I had to use the bathroom, so I left our station and walked for a little bit across the camp to the cafeteria building and I walked into the building from the side entrance right next to the bathroom and I went into the bathroom and started doing my business and whatnot and like on the wall to my left in there there was like one of them weird bathroom windows that you can't see out of on either side I don't know what they're called but they have one of those and I saw like some shadows moving past it and then I hear the side door opening some footsteps up to the door they hear someone try to open it now you think this is the part where I go I'm in here but nah I just kind of stood there looking back at the door then I finished my business flushed the toilet and went to go wash my hands and everything and I dried my hands off and I was like all right let me leave and I walked up to the door, unlocked it, and opened it. Now, I had assumed the people that walked by was just someone trying to use the restroom, and they would go use a different restroom, or they just kept moving on and walking. I assumed they were gone. Especially when I opened the door, walked down to the little hallway, and didn't see nobody. But now, in this little hallway, it was like one of those airlock type thingies, like the hallway, then doors, and then a small little area, and then more doors that led back to the outside. And it's like this on both sides. Now, I looked to my left at the one that entered the cafeteria, and I just see these two kids up against the wall in the corner making out. And I, and I was 13, so I was just like, holy shit, holy holy shit they're they're kissing and i'm just sitting there like and gasping at them and while they're still going at it tongue and mouth and everything pause and i was just okay so i ran out of there back to my cabin group and told everyone everything like i was yapping bro and mat massive detail telling them everything that happened they're they're all like asking me to describe what they looked like and everything because apparently it was like the biggest deal back then because this dude the dude that was kissing that girl had a girlfriend back home and he was at camp over here making out with girls at camp like that is nasty work and then later during dinner time we came back to the cafeteria it was like the drama had spread and literally everybody everybody's cabins was talking about it, it was like yo so and so was making out with so and so and everyone was asking who saw it who yeah yeah woo -woo -woo. i didn't say anything of course because i wasn't trying to catch a fade from nobody for exposing this dude on accident i was just telling people what i saw so i was at this station that involved kayaking and i was partnered up with this kid who named kev now kev was kind of a dumbass i mean like earlier in the day he jumped down the rock climbing wall almost on top of another kid while three other instructors told him not to and wait but he he was just one of those kids who like the mess around and stuff you know what i'm saying took nothing seriously had that goofy demeanor and whatnot and there's nothing wrong with that but in this case it was a problem so we got into our life vest and everything everything got on and everyone started heading down to the lake on their kayaks and everything now this lake was huge i mean like so huge it had three different stations it had the blob this little inflatable structure station and like the kayaking area and also the lake had like a tiny island in the middle of this creepy ass tree i mean like that shit was all like dead and like evil looking anyway me and Kev got into our kayak and got pushed into the water by our counselor and we stood it off. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared as fuck. Not because I'm black and I can't swim or anything. It's because the station had multiple kids who had already done it and told us about it and said that the lake was cursed and haunted and whatnot and that people were getting flipped out of their kayaks and every now and then randomly are due to other uncertain causes or whatever. And I just don't want to get flipped next and sit into the green eye Texas lake water. So I was kind of scared of that happening. So while slowly paddling with Kev, Kev started yelling at these kids nearby and was trying to splash water on them and we were like this far apart by the way but i was like yo kev chill because our kayak was wobbling because of him leaning on his side because this dude was dead leaning off the side of the kayak to splash water at people nowhere near us and he was just laughing and yelling having a time in his life and i was sitting there starting to sweat a little because our shit was dead leaning halfway into the water at this point and i was like all right since kev ain't gonna listen to me i'm gonna have to save us so i took it upon myself to try to save us from flipping into the lake so i tried to put my hand under the side that was a little bit underwater and for some reason i thought i could single-handedly literally flip us back up which i don't know why i thought that though that would work why i thought that though that would work but i was just trying anything not to flip into the water but i started stealing our fate because right after i leaned over and bottlenecked our entire kayak on one side which was already leaning over because of kev we flipped straight into the water and sent me and kev under and for some reason the second i hit the water i opened my eyes and saw nothing but green and brown and me and kev popped back up above the water looking around for our kayak which was slowly floating away from us so i was like shit so i grabbed my paddle and tried to pull it back towards us while using the paddle and kev was over there laughing his ass off like he thought this was all hilarious i was just focused on getting out of the water and then two of my cabin mates jade and aiden paddled over to us to see what happened and while attempting to use my paddle to flip back over our kayak jaden was asking me what happened and everything and i was just getting madder and mad i was mad as hell because i couldn't get back on the kayak because i couldn't flip back over with a damn paddle and kev's ass didn't seem to care if we got back out of the water or not so then my 
my boy, the goat, Jaden, climbed out of his kayak, got into the water to help me reflip the kayak. And while we floated there, we're trying to figure out how to salvage this situation. Out of literally nowhere, Kev screamed at the top of his lungs like a little girl. We both turned to look at him, and Kev was panicking, looking around at the water. And me and Jaden were like, what? What happened? And he said something just swam past his leg. And bro, we all made the same face of terror at the same time. And I even looked at Aiden, who was safe in his kayak, and he looked scared too. So me, Kev, and Jaden quickly got on one side of our kayak and unlocked like 120% of our potential to flip the kayak back over on its side. And while struggling to do so for a minute, we ended up flipping it back over, climbing back in, wet as hell, smelled like lake water, but at least we weren't in the lake no more. And then even after all that, Kev was still on some BS because not even five minutes after paddling around, he started trying to splash more people by leaning out of the kayak. And I was just looking like this.